Okay, so when you get, get your black phone, it's going to boot into the activation wizard, and that's where we set up all the tools that are supplied with the phone. We use a single activation key for everything, so there's only a single uh, provisioning step required. The wizard, I'll just run through it very quickly. You set your language, you get a little bit of information about why privacy is important. You set a device pin. This is something that we do differently from how Android normally works, but we require the user to do it right at the beginning. We also recommend that they set whole device encryption, which again, normally is not something that Android prompts you to do. You connect to a network. And now what we're going to do is download the, uh, the activation codes for all the different tools using the single key that's provided with the phone in the package. It'll come back and it'll say, here's what that key entitles you to activate, all the tools and their subscription terms. You can make an email backup of those keys if you want to. Then what we do is help you choose unique usernames for all the tools. And eventually what you end up with is a report for everything that's been provisioned and uh, you know, a record of all your, all your credentials for those tools. You then finish the wizard and you're down into the home screen. From here, you can set up your smarter Wi-Fi. This is what protects you from your Wi-Fi information, your hardware device, being scanned and harvested as you walk down the street and go into a coffee shop or a store. This will stop the Wi-Fi from broadcasting anything, and therefore there's no way to correlate your device with your purchase behavior or your movement. And we also let people use the Black Phone Security Center, where you can go in and modify the permissions for every app on the phone. So for example, you might say, as a rule, you don't want anything to be able to take the hardware information about your phone and share it on the internet. So with one touch, oh, I missed, one, there it goes. With one touch, we're changing 24 different apps so that they can no longer broadcast your hardware information out to the internet. Or you can go in individually and you can say, you know what, I don't want uh, the calendar app to be able to share information about my user accounts. Or I don't want it to be able to share information about my address book. So you can turn off those permissions line by line instead of the normal Android behavior of having to accept them all at once, all or nothing. The phone also ships with all the privacy communications tools, silent phone, silent text, silent contacts, and then our partner tools from Spider Oak and Disconnect to give you secure file storage and uh, private browsing and VPN and safe search.